Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Sierra Lawrence number 30-821 J313. This is a cylinder mounting pad that is used on the 1085 or 1285 series devices. And the bottom line is, the client says, yeah, I've got a Jackson device, is how these uh, were certainly known uh, once upon a time until Sierra Lawrence, um, I guess, bought Jackson. Uh, continued on uh, with marketing the name Jackson. So it's still called out in the paperwork as a Jackson, let's say a 1285 device. Um, if you sell a 10 or a 1285 series device to your client, then they call back and say, hey, they want to put a key on the outside. Okay, that's easy. You need this part. That's the bottom line. Available in a dark bronze or an aluminum finish. This dark bronze is really, really dark. Uh, I'm going to stop short of calling it black, but it could certainly be argued that it is certainly black. It's very, very dark. Um, available in, in 313 dark bronze or in 628 aluminum. And you're going to get with that the cylinder nut or the cash box ring, sometimes I call it, so that when your typical one inch uh, mortise cylinder goes into the exterior mounting pad, a couple of little features to the cast aluminum here to keep that cylinder straight. Uh, you're then going to tighten it down to the unit so now you've got a consolidated assembly. You use a standard one inch mortise cylinder and with a MS Adams Wright style cam. Then you're going to get two bolts. Um, I believe they're 832. It might be 1032. They'll go through the door, two inch flathead screws. Yeah, they're, they're 832 by 2 inch. They will go, th per the template, through the door. You'll countersink the inside face, and then you're going to attach them here. Okay, and then, and then down here. Those holes are per the template where you will, where you will attach them. Now, there is also... Uh, so, the bottom line is you have to have this if you're going to add an outside cylinder uh, on those two devices. There is shown also in the image from the factory a couple of pan head screws that are not identical and then a set screw. I've spoken to the manufacturer. They have no idea, well the person I spoke to has no idea why they're in there, but if you look through the installation instructions you'll find references to these parts, but I don't see why it's included with the cylinder mounting pad. My experience is that it has always been remove the device from the door after, you know, then prep the door for your cylinder mounting pad. Your two bolts, your 832 by 2 inch flathead bolts will go through. Your machine screws will go through. That's how you'll secure it to the door. Um, you know, I suppose you could use those two smaller screws if they go into the back of this cast housing to go only through the exterior wall of the aluminum storefront. Maybe if you didn't want to through bolt it through the door. That may be the reason why, but I still don't know why that set screw is there. That set screw appears to be the set screw that's used in the top strike assembly to basically when the door presents itself to the strike, the set screw sticks out and basically says, hi, oh, I see that you've shown up. Great, let me do my job. <laughs> it's just the set screw. Uh, and there are links down below this video that will allow you to go through uh, the parts list for a 1085 and a 1285. Um, and, well, maybe just parts listings for a 1085. The 1285, don't think we have anything beyond installation instructions, but there are references to the cylinder mounting pad um, and then the locations of where to drill the holes. But then again, nowhere that's calling out in relationship to just this item what's going to have to happen uh, with those extra parts. So the links that are down below are installation instructions and parts manuals, uh, and then a course a template as well which is included and there's a scan of this listed down below okay you need a 1 in 13 30 second diameter hole at the proper distance those are the two holes for those two mounting points there and there okay Let's take a couple of basic dimensional properties of the cylinder mounting pad. Overall width, about an inch and 11 sixteenths. Overall height, 
about two and a half. It's got an overall thickness to where the cylinder head may present itself. To the face of the door is just about a half of an inch. It's going to come into the door about three sixteenths. Okay. Very typical item. Uh, people will, after as an afterthought, um, say, "Oh gosh, I thought I needed. I thought this would come with everything I need to put a cylinder on." It doesn't. There's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Sierra Lawrence products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. And several other uh, top category catalogs are there, like shower door hardware, architectural metals, aluminum storefront, Blumcraft uh, ladder poles, uh, as they, maybe not ladder poles, but combination door poles and push poles that also operate as egress devices. A lot of neat catalogs there uh, for your review. Any questions on the Sierra Lawrence or Jackson 30-821J in a 313 finish or any other Sierra Lawrence product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.